In this video, we're going to learn some remarkable facts about what kale can do for your body, but with one small word of caution at the end, so make sure to watch all the way through. Exciting new research has found that cruciferous vegetables such as kale and broccoli contain a molecule shown to aid in creating a barrier in the lungs, and scientists think this can then give the body a boost in fighting off flu or other respiratory infections. This sadly was an animal study, where researchers examined a protein called aryl hydrocarbon receptor, AHR, and the effect AHR have on immune cells, but specifically the role it plays in endothelial cells lining blood vessels in the lung. The lungs have a barrier made up of two layers, one of endothelial cells and one of epithelial cells, which allow oxygen to enter. But this barrier has to be kept strong to ward off viruses, bacteria and pollution. In the experiments, they discovered that flu viruses cause blood to be present in air spaces between the lungs because it had leaks across a damaged barrier. However, AHR appears to stop it leaking as much because when AHR activity was enhanced, less blood was seen. Likewise, when AHR was prevented from being expressed in lung endothelia cells, there was greater damage to the barrier. So researchers concluded that AHR is important for maintaining a strong barrier in the lungs, which is disrupted during infection. Other scientists who have looked at the study have described the research as exciting, as it identifies a previously unknown way in which cells lining blood vessels in the lung can contribute to defense against lung damage by flu. Now here's what's cool. The protein AHR can be activated by natural molecules found in cruciferous vegetables, such as kale and broccoli. Quote, the pathway they identified is responsive to molecules that can originate in food, raising the intriguing possibility that diet could impact defenses against infection in the lung. These findings link food consumption to AHR activity and outcome in viral infection and indicate that AHR has a protective effect on the lung barrier, which is impacted by infection, but can be improved by the right diet. Now, it's important to note that this was an animal study, and some scientists are sceptical, saying it remains to be seen whether normal diets could do this in the same way as the purified experimental diets used in the laboratory study. However, surely there can be no harm in upping our intake of kale and cruciferous vegetables when we're sick. So now let's hear another remarkable fact about kale and other leafy greens from Dr. Michael Greger. We have inherent antioxidant defenses, but we can commandeer antioxidants from the plant world. So, for example, dark green leafies are packed with antioxidants because that's where photosynthesis takes place. The reason that plants don't get sunburned is because they're packed with antioxidants. We can eat those, and those antioxidants get deposited in our skin. The deposited in our organs have the same antioxidant effect. Oxidant stress contributes to cataracts and heart disease and kidney disease, and accelerated aging, on down the list. Frustratingly, in the Environmental Working Group's latest Dirty Dozen for 2024, conventional kale now ranks third on the list. So if you're able to afford organic kale, this would be best. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.